In this video, I want to show you how you can find secret keywords on Pinterest. I'm talking about keywords that are not trending now, but most likely will be trending in the coming weeks or months. So let's get into it. It's a very simple strategy, but it requires some manual work and some digging. So you will have to do this research on your own. You will have to spend a half an hour or an hour just to build the list of these keywords. First, you need to go to trends.pinterest.com. It's a free tool. Anyone can use it. And of course, you have to scroll down here to the section that says discover trends in the United States. One of the best ways to actually predict what kind of keywords will be trending in the future is by looking at what kind of stuff was trending last year at the same time. So as an example, today is the 28th of October. So there is still time to actually create content that could potentially rank in December, right? So we need to see what kind of stuff was trending last year in December. To do it, you have to select the trend type. Let's select the top monthly trends and you can select the end date here. So let's just go to the end of December 2024 and let's see what we can get. So as you can see, this is all of the stuff that was trending in December 24. But the problem is that it includes stuff from a lot of different niches and we want to be a bit more specific. So if you are running a food blog, for example, you can select the interest here and you can select food and drinks. So now it's getting better because now we have all of the keywords that were trending in December 2024 in our specific niche. But most importantly, some of these keywords have this little icon here. It says trend predictions available. So let's go to sugar cookie recipe. Let's click on that little icon and you will see something very interesting because you will see the prediction of traffic in the coming weeks. This feature is not available for every single keyword, but if you notice that little icon, it can be a very good sign that this keyword is worth checking out. As of today, the sugar cookie recipe is not that popular at all. We are talking about the eight, nine or 11 interest out of 100 during these last couple of weeks. But as you can see in December, it's expected to grow to between 42 up to 165 on average. So let's say that you have a food blog and you want to increase your traffic in December. Today is a very good opportunity to create like 10 or 15 articles about sugar cookies, could be different recipes of different sugar cookies. Just create that content and post it to the board called sugar cookie recipe. And if you post all of that stuff today, most likely in the next couple of weeks, it will start getting traction. And considering the fact that this keyword is expected to blow up in middle of December, you have a very high chance to actually get some of your pins viral. So the strategy here is very simple. You need to identify keywords that were popular in the past and then somewhere at this stage, somewhere a few weeks before it actually starts going up, you want to create a lot of content that will target that specific keyword. And I think that we can do the same with the buffalo chicken dip. Let's see the trend prediction. And as you can see, maybe it's not as rapid growth as in the previous example, but the traffic is definitely expected to grow at the end of December. Another example, sneaker doodle cookies. I'm telling you, it's a very good keyword because all of that stuff will blow up in December. And today the interest is 13 out of 100, but in December it's going to be between 46 up to 100. So today it's, it's a perfect time to actually start creating content to write on that trends wave and you know you can do it in every single niche because let's check out home decor let's see what we can get this is the stuff that was trending last year elf on the shelf ideas funny hilarious so let's see what we can expect as you can see in december this keyword will get very popular even though now it's basically getting zero traffic. Of course, you have to remember that if you create content about such seasonal topics, you will get traffic in December, but then it will go down because in January, no one's gonna look for elf on the shelf ideas. But that's fine because in December, you can do the same thing for trending topics in January, 
in January, you can do the same thing for trending topics in February and March and so on. And you can just utilize Pinterest trends to find trending topics and get more traffic. And I want to show you that you can also specify keywords that you want to search for. So for example, let's search for Christmas and let's see what we can get. As you can see, all of these keywords were trending in December 2024 and some of them may be trending in December 2025 as well. As an example, let's see Christmas porch decorating ideas. We can see the prediction and as you can see, it's expected to blow up in the next couple of weeks. So if you have a home decor blog, today is a great opportunity to actually start creating content about Christmas porch decorating ideas. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can find a lot of other related keywords here as well. As an example, exterior Christmas decorations. And of course, this is going to grow as well. Maybe not as high as Christmas porch ideas, but it will get some more traffic than it's getting now. So honestly, I really like this predict the future option. And I think that it's definitely useful if you want to find some very good keywords ahead of time. I feel like the key here is to actually start targeting these keywords before they actually blow up. Because if you start creating content at this moment, well, before it actually starts getting traction, the trend will naturally die. So that's why it's important to create content ahead of time. Hopefully this quick video was helpful. I definitely encourage you to use Pinterest trends. It's a free tool. You don't have to pay for anything and it's super useful. Of course, if you want to get more support and if you connect with other individuals who are growing on Pinterest, join the Pin Lions community. The link is in the description. You can get access to a lot of cool stuff, a lot of workflows, templates, prompts, and custom tools that I created for myself and for members of my community. If you are serious about growing on Pinterest, it's definitely the place to be. Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you on the next one. See you next time.